family welcome to another video from me thank you guys so much for clicking on this video for deciding to watch another video from me i really appreciate it and in today's video we're gonna get a little bit controversial obviously the year is ending out with the old in with the new and we're heading into 2017 however you guys there are a few issues a few lock stereotypes, a few lock trends that we're gonna ditch in 2016 and do not bring it to 2017, okay? It's just some things that, I, that I have noticed, okay? Just, it's nothing personal. I just, I've just noticed some things and I wanna talk about them. Can we talk? Can we just, let's just talk, all right? In case you didn't know, I wash my locks. I wash my hair all the time. I use shampoo. It smells great. It's not dirty. It doesn't stink. So if you think that locks stink, keep that mentality in 2016. Okay? Don't bring it 2017. Let me just slick my edges down a little bit. All right? Which product should I use? Should I use my Elmer's washable school glue? I mean, this might hold it for like two hours. I'm gonna be outside a lot, so I might need something stronger, right? All right, so I'm not using that. My crazy glue, though, this might hold it down for a while. Yeah, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the crazy glue to slick these edges down, like you know, because you know, I gotta be cute today. I gotta be cute. To make your retwist last longer than a few days, you can use what one of my one of my favorite products is um the Elmer's Carpenter wood glue. So you just take a little bit, you don't need much because this is very powerful. So you just take a little bit, like a dime size amount, and this is all you'll need. And this will be enough to retwist um, one lock. So yeah, this will make sure your locks stay in place and it will hold it for a very, very long time. All right? And you guys, my favorite, favorite, favorite product for really holding down those lock styles, the lock edges, or a retwist, if you want your hair to last, Trust me, you guys, when it's to last, this is my favorite, my ultimate, my secret product. A glue gun. Don't forget to click on my link in the description bar to get your lock glue gun, and that will help you make sure your, you know, your locks stay in place. Coupon code in the description bar, click my link, get your lock glue gun. It's on sale right now. 75% off. All right. Yeah, click on the link. Go get it. Put glue in your hair. Stop it. Stop putting unnecessary products that don't belong in your locks on your locks. I'm tired of seeing all these concoctions that will just damage your hair. People put it up. People are putting it on their locks. Stop it. It's so much information out there, so many better products, so much common sense. Stop it. Oh, those locks are nice. Look at how cute her locks are. Oh my gosh, you guys. It is so cute. It's so nice and freshly done retwist. I love your hair. Oh my, I wish I could get locks just like yours. Oh, look at his locks. It looks so nice. Oh my gosh. It's so nice and parted. I love the size and the, the retwist. I love his locks. He, he, you can tell he takes care of his hair. It's always freshly retwisted. While on the other hand... Why do your hair look like that? When are you going to retwist your locks? Why do you let your edges grow out like that? You need to really retwist your hair. Ooh, it looks so messy. Ooh, it just looks dirty. How do you, you going to even get a job in here like that? Why are your locks so clumped together? Why do you only have six locks? Why can't you just retwist your hair? Why can't you just leave me alone? Mind your gut there. Locks are locks. They're different types of locks. They're small, traditional, brother locks, sister locks, freeform locks, semi-freeform locks. Stop hating on one lock type and loving the other lock type. If something is not for you, obviously I don't have freeform locks, but I still appreciate it. Somebody that has freeform locks, obviously they don't have micro locks like mine, but I'm sure they probably still appreciate it. Stop separating and discriminating and bringing down people with different types of locks. Locks are locks. Stop it. Don't bring that nonsense into 2017. Please, leave it in 2016. Did you hear that she cut her locks? 
See, I knew from the beginning she was not in it. Yeah, I can't. I know. I know it wasn't for her. She all this time she cut her locks. I can't. I can't believe she cut her locks. Why did she do that? She really hurt my soul. She a bad, bad mother. She's a bad representation of the natural hair community. She is just a bad person all around. She never loved locks. She never loved herself. Why did she cut her locks? I loved her locks. She really hurt me. She really hurt me when she cut her locks. I'm unfollowing her, I'm unfriending her, I'm never watching her videos again. I want nothing to do with her because she's a bad person. She's, I'm, I'm, I'm sure she hates locks. I'm sure she, did, she didn't know how to take care of her locks. I'm sure her locks got damaged. I'm sure she probably hated locks to begin with and she was just hiding, she was just fronting. She's not a real lock wearer. Right? Oh. Hello, hello people, hello, 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 stop it, stop it, stop it. Make, let people live their lives, all right? It's not that serious, it really isn't that serious. I get a little bit kind of, you know, when someone cuts their locks too, but it's their hair. Let them do what they want to do. Don't get yourself involved in somebody else's life to the point where it hurts you. It's my, it hurts you because I cut my locks? No. Love that person for who they are. Enjoy their locks. Enjoy their journey with them. But if they cut their locks, you know, you said, right? I guess it wasn't for you and you gracefully move on. Don't bash them, don't hate them. If it comes to the point where their content is no longer relevant to you or your journey, then all right, then you don't have to watch their content. But don't bash them, don't hate them, just move on. Don't, don't spread hate, just don't, just, just leave it alone. You never know what a person's going through and you never know why a person might cut their hair or choose to change their lifestyle. You never know unless you walk in that person's shoe. Oh my God, I love your locks. I want to start my locks and I want it to look just like yours. Can you tell me exactly, step by step, every single product that you've ever used in your hair since you've gotten your locks? When you interlock your lock, approximately exactly what time do you start and exactly what time do you stop each individual lock? Okay, how many seconds does it take to interlock each individual lock? I did all of that and my locks still don't look like yours. You said you use this product to interlock and this product to retwist and I use the same exact product, the same time you used it, the same amount you used it, the time frame that you used it and my hair does not look exactly like yours. I need to have your locks. I need to have your locks. I need my hair to look exactly like yours. No, 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 no. Hello, hello people, people. And I'm gonna make the podcast come out now. People, people, people. But love enough. There is a difference, a difference between in lock inspirations and copycat locks. There's a difference. There's a big difference, all right? There's nothing wrong with asking for help or asking someone based on their knowledge or based on their history, things that have worked for them in the past and things that they would recommend or techniques that they use and that they don't mind sharing with you. But when it comes to this copycat nonsense, where you want it to look exactly like that person, have the same exact size locks, the same exact everything, and when it don't work for you, you complain, it's all genetics. It's all anatomy, okay? It's all DNA. So many different factors go into how your hair turns out, the result of your hair, so many different things. That is not products. It's you. It's how your mother born you. Is where father genes it get. It's your lineage. Stop with the copycat locks. Stop it. I have a few lock inspirations myself. I do. And I and I and I ask them for advice, especially because I don't know everything and I'm still on a journey. And I watch different techniques. But you have to know that you're not gonna have the same exact 100% duplicate replica of someone else's locks. Stop it right now. Don't bring that into 2017. Leave it right here. Matter of fact, put it down right now. Yes, put it down, put it down. Drop it right there, sir. Put it right here, so leave it right there, sir. And don't pick it up again. And while we're on the topic of hate, let's talk about this, all right? Stop hating on people when they say that Oh, I used this product and it worked well for my hair and it gave me such great results. But you use it and the results weren't the same. Hello, hello, hello. The person was lying. Not everybody is lying out here. 
If somebody said I'm use this shampoo, this lock product, this lock cream, this lock gel, that, and it worked good for them hair, and you use it and it didn't work good for your hair, don't go bashing them that they're lying. They're not lying. Well, unless they are lying, but most of them is not lying. It's all genetics. It's all DNA. What might work for me, and it's my holy grail, might be crap. It needs to be flushed down, down the toilet for you. All right? So do, stop the hating. Stop the bashing. It's, in case you don't understand by now, it's part of the journey. That's what it's all about. This locking process is all a journey. You have to go down the roads. You got to bend corner. You got you to gotta take your own route. And what that means is you got to test products and find products that work for you. It's not going to be you wake up, you get locks, and boom, you find the holy grails and everything going to work for you. No. No, I don't saw it work. You have to try and try until you see what works for you. And what works for you might not work for him. What works for Peter might not work for Paul. So stop bashing. Stop saying a lying. It's a journey. Learn your hair. Grow with your hair. What worked for one might not work for the other. And it might work for both of y'all, but it might not. Stop bashing people and stop saying they're lying because they're not lying. If you think that you're better than someone because of your locks, stop it. Stop it. Oh, I have locks. I'm better than her because she has perm hair or she has relaxed hair. Oh my gosh, I can't believe so. she still relaxes her hair. Oh, I'm so much better than her. I can't believe she's wearing a wig. Oh, she, she better, she must be bald on it. She's not taking care of herself. She should get locks. Oh my gosh, I can't believe she's relaxing her hair. Oh, relax is a bad, 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 bad for you. Don't do it. You're going to die. Don't do it. I won't talk to you if you do it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe she's doing that. Be like me. Lock your hair. I'm so much better than you. I'm better than you. I'm better than you. I'm so much better than you. Stop it. There is no lock supremacy. There's no lock pedestal. There's no hierarchy to this lock game. If someone relaxes their hair, it relaxers is not, are not for me. And it's not for a lot of y'all. But some people, they are not at that point yet where they can stop. Stop hating. Just be an example. Be a living example. Let them see the beauty of going natural if that's what they want. And if that's not what they want, then still be them, still, still still care for them, leave them alone. Stop bashing people for relaxing their hair. I mean, I wish people would, I honestly do, to be honest, I would like people to stop using relaxers and to go natural. But if they don't, so what? That's them, that, and this is me. I worry about me, myself. I have a lot of issues, me. And before I go pointing fingers at somebody else, I try to take care of the issues right here. So stop bashing people, stop hating on people, stop making people feel like they're nothing or they're worthless or they're beneath you because they still use relaxers. Lax is not for everyone. It isn't. I'm sorry, it really isn't. Some people try it, it's not for them. Some people are scared to try it. You guys know my story. I'm open with you guys. I've wanted locks for many years and I was scared, 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 scared to get them. You guys seen my story. It took an eye-opening situation to tell me you got you, you know you gotta change up your ways. It's not for everyone. Stop making people feel less than you, feel less than anything. People are people, let them live their lives. They only have one life to live. If they're not hurting you, why should you hurt them? Stop it. No more bashing people for being for being no if there's a difference between bashing someone and educating them. The difference between forcing someone to do something and just being a living example. Stop it. Stop making people feel that they're not worthy, that they're not good enough, that they can't be your friend, that they're not part of this elite clique, that they're not beautiful, that they're nothing because they don't have locks. Stop it. Psst. Yo, mom. Yo. You got the... Excuse me? You got that. You got some... What? You got the good good? You won't Yeah, you got, you you got won't some weed. I don't, I don't smoke weed. What? But you rest fair in it though, right? No. You don't got no... Everybody that has locks is not rest of fair in. 
Let's talk about rock representation in the media, all right? Let's talk about it. I want one day to see a movie where the main character has locks, whatever kind of locks she have. I want to see her be the main character, successful. I'm tired of seeing locks represented in the media as like a back character or it's not in the main character or they're the one that's selling the weed or if they have locks, it's like looked down upon some way. I just want to see a strong character with locks, just wearing it proud, just regal, real good looking. Just strutting, just, you know, just taking over the movie scene, just doing her thing. I want to see more of that. I want to, I, I want to see that, you know. That's what I want to see. I want more representation in the media. That's why I am here. That's why I'm on YouTube. I'm being the representation that I want to see. Not just in sports, not just in the rap music, but in something else that shows them a different perspective. All right, I hope I didn't lose some supporters over this video. <laughs> um, it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's really out of fun. I'm not poking fingers at anyone. If anything, I'm making fun of myself because this is some of, the, some of the things that I used to do in the past, but no shade to anyone. No shade at all to anyone, it's all love. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys can relate, definitely comment in the comment section. I'm sure I didn't touch on everything. What other lock issues, um, lock stereotypes, or any kind of lock trends that you want to see just left? Leave at the roadside, leave at the door, and don't bring it into 2017? Leave it in the comment section. Like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your support in all of my videos and all of my social media sites. Thank you guys so much, and have a wonderful day. It's all fun and games. It's all part of the journey. And make sure that you are enjoying your journey. Bye.